Today is April 17th, 2014. Welcome to the first edition of the Penning Stacking Podcast. Uh, going to keep this one, I mean, it's going to be a lot of random stuff, but uh, would just kind of want to introduce what I want to do. Part of, at least the way I understand it, is the first step to creating a podcast on iTunes is you actually have to have an episode to upload. So just going to kind of go through a bunch of random bullshit here and, and explain what the goals are, what the plan is, just to get this one in the can so then I can go do the iTunes thing and upload and got about probably two hours of work to actually finish this thing, but I need an episode first. So so what is the Penny Stocking Podcast? Well, I've had this idea for quite some time. If you've followed my YouTube channel, you'll see, I mean, I've I've got a great interest in trading, recently become more of a full-time trader, and really what I would like to do is, is, it's a selfish goal, I would like to use this platform as a way to make me a better trader, and hopefully in me getting better, you, the listener, will get better. Um, got a lot of cool contacts in the penny stocking world, and my hope would be to have those of them as guests. So, you know, pick their brain, get some of their information out there in an easy format. So I'm going to have this on iTunes. Obviously, like I said, it'll be on YouTube. Now, you know, I'm going to post it to YouTube just because it's a great place to distribute stuff. But a lot of what I'm going to do here is not going to be particularly visual. Okay, I mean, I've got these notes in front of me here, but... You know, if I've got a guest, most likely I won't be in the room with them. They'll probably be Skyping them in. You know, I'll probably just have like a headshot of them. But there isn't going to be a lot of visuals so that hopefully you can listen to this on an, on an iPhone or, you know, or whatever device. Or my thought is maybe you're, maybe it's during the trading day and you've got it going in the background or something like that. So even though it is on YouTube, don't expect a whole lot of visual shebang and charts and everything. Now I will still do trade recap videos from time to time, but that's not really kind of what I'm trying to do here. So again, the introduction, what are we going to go over here? I mean, you know, I'll go over trade setups, go over trade recaps. Um, one thing I really want to focus on is the trader lifestyle. Um, done. I've done a few videos on that, never really gotten into it. But, you know, I really think that tr- stock trading, especially penny stock trading, is just, I mean, it may be the, the, the best uh, I mean, the best way to, to, to make a living in this day and age. I mean, there's there's no, when you consider the risk to reward, and that should be something that every trader should think about, but when you think about what it takes to get started, I mean, you can get started with a $500 laptop and a couple thousand bucks, and you can support yourself. Um, now, obviously, you need a lot of education, and that's what we're going to go over here as well, but you can build this thing into something that that can support you and and you can travel around the world. I mean, you're not tied to anything. So so that's a, a lot of what I'm going to get into is that idea of the trading lifestyle. And and again, when we get to uh, meet you know meeting traders, interviewing traders, you know how they did it. Uh, you know, a lot of these guys are going to be full time stock traders. And and how did they you know how did they get to where they are? Um, and then, of course, we'll go over trading rules. I mean, that's something that can be ranted on over and over again because, you know, everybody everybody has a set of rules. Well, I hope you have a set of rules. And if you don't, then we'll go over those here and maybe can help you find some resources to get some rules. But everybody breaks rules. And, and why? And, and how can you avoid breaking them? And how can you refine rules? Um, but uh, I'd also like to just bring in, when it comes to guests, uh, you know, really... Not just traders, but but successful people. Uh, maybe people. I mean, it'd probably be around finance, but uh, you know, it'd be cool to get to maybe you know a lot of these guys that aren't necessarily trading penny stocks, but but are in the finance world. And then also, I've got a lot of interest in fitness and in just general productivity. You know, uh, I've got it down at the bottom of the notes here. But one of uh, a podcast that I always try and listen to and I recommend to everybody is Joe Rogan's podcast. Now everybody always thinks, oh isn't he this pot smoking comedian? But he's actually very smart and, and really follows a lot of a lot of people that are about 
mastery and about uh, improvement and, and how to get there. And that's why I listen to the, his podcast is because he gets a lot of great guests that are revolve around that. And, you know, everybody can improve. I mean, if you're not getting better, you're getting worse. So, you know, there is no, there is no sitting still in this world. So that would be a, a something I'd like to go over. And then a lot of it might just be, I might just be saving links and, and discussing things or, you know, around the world of finance or something that happened or, you know, or I, I got a pretty good ability to rant at times. You know, maybe I'll just complain about, you know, why, well, I won't, I won't get started on anything right now. But, um, and then, uh, da, 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 let me go through my notes again. Sorry. Oh, one thing, you know, the audio quality will get better. I've got a nice mic, but I forgot to order a boom, so I'll have that. So it shouldn't be, hopefully it won't be as echoey and because I'm just using the onboard mic on my laptop. Um, uh, schedule, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And, you know, my goal is to kind of cut this right after at the close on those days, so right at 4 o'clock. You know, unless I have a very interesting guest, I'm expecting these things are going to be 15 minutes, half hour at the most, especially if it's a solo. And again, getting started, probably the first dozen or, or however many episodes will just be me monologue. So, you know, obviously just listening to one guy blabber for, for you know, much more than 15 minutes can be a little difficult. So, um, you know, I'd like to just get those in the can right at the close on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, discuss what happened in the day, uh, discuss my trades, maybe highlight other traders' trades. I mean, there's a lot of guys that I follow that I think are very smart and are great to learn from. Maybe I'll touch on some of their trades. Uh, distribution, again, it'll be on iTunes. I don't have that link yet. Uh, it'll be on my YouTube channel. And then, of course, it'll be linked back to my blog as well. And then I'll, I'll you know, tweet them out and everything. But um, if you are, you know, if you do have a podcast app, you know, hopefully you'll subscribe. Or you can just, you know, subscribe on, on, on YouTube as well. And then you get a notification when a new one's uploaded. So, again, I kind of touched on my goal right in the beginning, but you know, my, my goal is right here to help the listener and myself become a better trader and overall person. So that's the mission statement, I guess, of the podcast, Penny Stocking Podcast. So uh, again, I, I kind of had some notes here on, on who I'd like to emulate. You know, Michael Covell is a trend following con podcast. Um, you know, it really, I would like to kind of copy, for lack of a better term, what he does with his podcast, except mine will be in the world of penny stocks. I mean, his is more of a macro thing. I mean, he's following the S and P and oil and some and all these bigger things, but then also focuses on finance and, and productivity and such. So, you know, really, if I had to say somebody I was going to rip off, it'd be him. And, you know, that's, that's a compliment. He's got a great podcast. And so my goal would be to, uh, you know, emulate him in the podcast or in the penny stocking world. And then, of course, I mentioned, already mentioned Joe Rogan. And then last but not least, I will, uh, you know, I'm going to have a, I'll use Evernote to kind of, as I move through the day to keep track of notes and, and stuff to get ready. So I'll link this as well. So, I mean, the cool thing would be what I'm going to try and do, and we'll see how good is. One thing that a lot of podcasts is they'll they'll mention certain things or links or products and then you got to go find them yourself. So uh, hopefully, uh, just like this Evernote doc, I mean, this will be attached. It'll have what you just saw, all the notes. So um, I have no idea how long it just went, but but it's I, I guess I went through my list and we'll go from there. So hopefully you will listen and hopefully it will be of value. I I, I don't. It didn't expect this one to be worth much, but, you know, it is what it is. It's the first one. So I will uh, see you in the future, and hopefully I'll have something much more interesting to talk about then. Thanks.